in this demonstration we will be looking at exporting the horse that we created previously as a 3D PDF file. Now previously in ArtCam Jewelsmith the way in which we'd export a project or a file would be from the assembly tree we previously use the movie wizard. In the movie wizard we'd be able to export our image as a series of photographed JPEG files. This could be quite large and take quite a while to do. So new within Arkham Jewelsmith 2009 we have the ability to export whatever we see within the 3D view as a PDF file. The advantage to PDF file is that it can be saved as a secure file type. Now we're going to go through both ways of producing a PDF file. So the first and easiest one to do is if you're working within a model, so we have the ability to go to Windows and save 3D image. We can just save this as a 3D PDF. We're going to save this as horse And you can see we have our standard bitmap, TIFF and JPEG files here. We're just going to save this as the 3D PDF. Okay, as you can see, now we have the ability to use a password if we require. The advantage to having a password is that only your client or customer would be able to open it using your, your or their specific password. So you could send this PDF file in an email, then a separate one or use an existing password you always use with that customer in a separate email. And then this one I'm going to type in no password, just select that and then it will carry on producing my 3D PDF file. Here it's told us that the PDF file has been saved so we'll just open that up and take a look at the file. So we've just opened the PDF file up and as you can see your customer or client would have complete control over the 3D model from the front face and the back face to be able to rotate it around. Now this is one of the ways which we can create a 3D PDF it's from the save view option. We'll close this down and we we'll take a look at the other option. So if we wanted to what we could do is we could add this to the project file. So currently in the project file we have the full horse itself but we may not want to show the customer this, we may want to show them this file here. So the first thing to do is to add this to the project. So we go to the create triangular mesh and we could if we wanted to close it with a flat plane so it's got a flat back to it could be used for a pendant. So we selected close with the flat, flat plane. We're just creating the triangles and we're going to add them to the project. So here we have with a flat back. I'm just going to add these to the project. And then if we come across to the project tab and just close this down and update. So this will just save the horse within the model for any changes we've made. And now what we're going to do, as we can see, is we're going to select onto the project and s export this as a 3D PDF file. So again, we'll call this a uh, horse. We'll call it a horse one this time. And again, as you can see, have the ability to put in a password, which again we won't. And again it saved it, so we're going to open it from the desktop. we can see have our horse 
with a solid back to it. So we can quite happily send this file through to the customers as well. As you can see from this demonstration, ArcCam Jewelsmith 2009 has the ability to create files as a 3D PDF. The advantage to this is it's a small, secure file format. And hopefully you will have seen the benefits from this demonstration and how to use a 3D PDF output for yourselves.